Now you're invited to a great live streaming concert happening this weekend featuring beautiful Hawaiian music in support of beautiful Hawaiian music. That's right, it's time to Kani Kapila over in Waimanalo with the, the Cyril Bahainui Music Festival. And joining us this morning with all the details is Rhonda Burke, co-producer of the Waimanalo Kani Kapila and John Hart Na'alau Theater Board of Directors. Good morning, John and Rhonda. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. morning. Aloha. Aloha. So let's uh, talk about it. So what is the mission of the Cyril Pahinui Waimanalo Kani Kapila? Well, Cyril started it over 15 years ago in honor of his father, Gabby, you know, who propagated the slack key genre that everyone uh, so much loves today. And it was about musicians celebrating Gabby's life. Uh, after Cyril passed a few years ago, we renamed the event after Cyril. And so now musicians get to celebrate Cyril's music as well as Gabby. Uh, Cyril spent much of his life promoting Gabby's legacy rather than his own. So I think it's more than appropriate. We honor him as well. I totally agree. Beautiful. Uh, so this is going to be a pretty extensive uh, concert. I saw a very really long list. So can you tell me some of the, who are the entertainers that will be performing during this live stream concert happening soon? Well, um, some of the entertainers, um, we're going to open with uh, Kahu Dennis Salas. Uh, my Kumu, Kawai Kapu Kalani Hewitt, is going to be doing an Oli. We have Alan Akaka. We have... Jerry Santos, Kamuela Kimokeo, Superstar Kaihi Kimokeo this year. Um, we're going to have Greg Sardina, Katamaduli, Mike Kaava, Dwight Kanai, Kavika Kahiapo, Nathan Aveao, Ocean Kaowili, Pandanas Club, Jeff Peterson, um, and a huge array of wonderful MCs. Um, we also have Kona Feeds, where we're going to have um, Duke, uh, Tatum, we have Ben Kaili. It's a huge uh, amount of people. Victor Chalk, we're loaded up with musicians every year. Although we scaled it back a bit, um, we still have a lot of musicians yeah. coming to participate. Yeah, that's only tip of the iceberg for the list yeah. of entertainment that's going on. Thank you, Rhonda. Uh, so also, uh, how, what is this nonprofit all about for people that don't know? And how can people purchase t-shirts or donate to the cause? Well, some of our money is for grant from grant funding, but most of our money is from t-shirt sales. Back when we had it live at the beach park, thousands of people attended, sold a lot of t-shirts. It's frankly been more of a challenge now that we've had to go virtual. So uh, we'd love to have you watch, but even if you can't watch, please buy a t-shirt. You can check us out on the website or on YouTube. And there's the t-shirt on our screen right now, Waimanalo Kani Kapila, looking beautiful. You get Cyril right there on the t-shirt. So go ahead, uh, even though this is not a live event, go online and support Hawaiian music. You can see CyrilPainui.com. Uh, also, uh, the good question is, well, when will this event return to the beach park? Uh, will it return next year like it's been for the previous 10 plus years? Tell us about uh, what will happen next year, possibly. We are really heavily hoping because there, there's nothing like having the actual interaction um, of the live, you know, live uh, music with people there. Um, we are hoping that next year the permitting process uh, is going to open up. Although we did get a little bit of news unofficially that they, they're going to be opening up soon so that we can have it live. And hopefully it'll be back at Waimanalo Beach Park again like we have for uh, close to 13, 12 or 13 years, right, John? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's closer to 15, isn't it? A long time, a long time. Yes. And we, you know, really appreciate this because during COVID, we had to downscale our music in the schools program. That's where we take the money left over from the T-shirts to bring Hawaiian music back to the schools. And now that the keiki are back in person, we'd like to reboot that. And that's what the T-shirt profits go for. So uh, we really appreciate people supporting Hawaiian music and Hawaiian music in the schools for our keiki. 
Yes, and we so miss it being live, and I totally agree with what Rhonda was saying. We're just hearing these beautiful musicians playing the music in front of you. You could feel the mana. Ooh, I just get chicken sin thinking about it. So uh, t tell us quickly the date and time of the festival that will be happening, uh, happening this weekend, actually. Yes, this coming Saturday, April 23rd, um, everything is going to start off at 9 a.m. Um, and you can go to uh, our webpage, zeropahinui.com, um, and 9 a.m. to 6-ish um, or whenever pow. Whenever, pow. Thank you so much, Rhonda, <laughs> as well as John Hart. Thank you so much for everything you do, bringing this program back to the live, uh, not this year, but next year. So let's uh, just keep it going. Make sure you get those donations. Grab those great T-shirts. Rhonda Burke, as well as John Hart, thank you so much for everything you do. You guys have a wonderful day, and enjoy this great Kani Kapila this weekend. Thank you so much. Yes. Mahalo. Mahalo. Our pleasure.